Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Divinely Ayana. I am back. I am back. Why do I feel like I always say that? Okay, so mm, this glare is annoying. I know y'all are like, girl, where have you been? I know, I know, I know. So in my very last video, I updated you guys to let you know that I was starting my own business, which has been going extremely well. It is very new. So, you know, it comes with highs and lows, trials and tribulations, things like that. And one of my highs and lows is balance. I mean, one of my lows is learning or not balancing things well. Yeah, there's a lot going on, like I said, but at the end of the day, y'all know my love. My love is for my Divinely Ayana crew since day one. I came on here sharing my love for beauty, makeup, hair care, lifestyle, military info, like anything that y'all requested, need, I was here to share. Yeah, I'm hating this glare. So <laughs> that was another thing. Mama had to get new glasses, okay? And that was a whole experience. So what we doing today? Today, I am gonna be giving you guys a little show and tell um, of a PR box that I received. So again, throughout all of this transition and things just happening, I'm still getting PR. I received PR from Pixie Beauty, in which if you follow me on Instagram, boop, 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 you would have saw me do that unboxing and walkthrough of that. I absolutely love my Pixie Beauty PR. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you, thank you, Pixie Beauty. They really just make me feel included um, among you know this this love that I have. I feel like there's always going to be that company that just keeps you motivated, inspired, and keeps you going. And Pixie Beauty is just one of those companies for me. But I also received PR from a new company, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So. I received this beautiful PR box from Pop Beauty. It is called Kiss and Sip Pop Perfect Pout. So what is in this beautiful box? Let's find out. So first and foremost, thank you Pop Beauty for this beautiful PR box. It says create your pop perfect pout and pucker up for the ultimate kiss proof test. There are nine lippies. They are long wearing lippies. Uh, it doesn't really specify what kind of lippy it is, whether it's liquid or a cream or a matte. First and foremost, the packaging on this is extremely, extremely cute. And it's a huge, huge lippy. I mean, a lot of times lippies aren't this big. I feel like this is just, this just draws my eye in. Like I'm visually drawn in like, ooh. It's like a mascara size um, bottling or packaging. The shades you see here from left to right are Butter Bay, Plum Peach, Pink Tutu, Razzle Rose, Poppy Pout, Coral Crush, Berry Boost, Red Velvet, and OMG Violet. As you can see when I wipe it off, the ones that was freshly applied come off, but the one that dried is hard to come off. I personally, personally, this is just me personally, okay? Don't, don't take this the wrong way. I personally am not a fan of permanent lipstick. I mean, I like lipstick that's not gonna shift or move or smear, but at the end of the night, I care for my skin, I care for my lips, and it's kind of scary to me when something's permanent like that. If it ain't my eyebrows, now I get some permanent eyebrows. I ain't, you know, I'm gonna get me some permanent eyebrows. But it's coming off, and I'm sure if I scrub in the tub some soap and some water, you know, like an oil-based, you know, but this, this is one of my favorite makeup wipes, and it still ain't coming off with it. But yeah, maybe micellar water would be a great thing to use to uh, get that off. My first impression of it was, I like how much came out on the applicator when I went to apply it to my arm. So I feel like you could get what you need in just one little dip. Um, so more than likely, it is long lasting. I mean, it's a lot. And there's four milliliters of product. Um, the second thing was the coloring. The pigmentation was all different. Very, very nice. I love them. I feel like these are great colors to have in a lip line. I really do. Um, you can definitely go for maybe even a little bit more on the lighter nude end and a little bit more even on the deeper purple dark black end. But other than that, it was exact a shade of each like color range. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into a nice little swatch. I'm just gonna take off my gloss. Let's get into it. Oh, 
Oh, this one's this one's nice. This one's like the closest to like what I would just rock, okay? Oh, it's mattifying. Let me take it off. I like, I like. All right, y'all. So what are my impressions? Number one, some of the ones that are more, I guess, required more chemicals and chemistry to make the color pop um, were way thicker. And I just feel like when it's thick like that, it's way harder to feel natural on your lips, um, way harder to apply. Um, the ones that are of darker color, like this one, I can start, I can feel it drying now. So I had to hurry and take it off because of course they said it is permanent <laughs> and I didn't want it to stay on so that I could give a true color for all the other ones that were following after. Um, but in terms of consistency, I feel like, like I said, some were thick, but the ones that were thinner, you can still get enough on your lips with just one. Boop, 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 boop. I didn't have to double dip. This is really drying, but it's nice. This is really, I, I like it. I really do like it. I don't like all of the colors on me. I don't like the consistency of some of the colors. Like I said, when it came out of the, the tubing, um, but maybe half of these were really, really nice. But other than that, it doesn't hurt to have an extra lippy in your stash. Or if you're a makeup artist and your client wants a matte lip, these might be the way to go. Especially if you're someone like doing their makeup super early in the day and they don't want their makeup to shift or move or have to reapply a lip. I would say these because they're clearly permanent. <laughs> but other than that, that's my review. I just am so thankful for Pop Beauty for recognizing me. I mean, I have my P.O. box down in the description box anyway. So y'all can go ahead and send me stuff as well if you want me to review or post it up or whatever it may be. So thank you again for the beautiful PR box, my beautiful glasses, and the wonderful, wonderful um, permanent pout lippies. Um, I really like some of them. Some of them I wasn't quite a fan of. The consistency of them just isn't quite as um easy to apply and like some of them was too dense so it just was a turn off for me personally um but other than that all is well in the world of the perfect pout lips pop pop what is it called what's the hashtag pop perfect pout <laughs> all right y'all thank you so much for watching peace love and be divine